Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's Ironside video, and today I am very so graciously happy to present to you guys the Season 10 of Ironside. I did have some other commentary going along with this, but it got corrupted. Don't ask, don't tell. But anyway guys, Season 10, let's do this bad boy. I do have a few quick questions, not questions, but a few quick, quick topic points that I want to go over. Let's start with the free-for-all. So they're adding free-for-all into the game. Uh, that's right, and it's going to be replacing the battle royale mode So we're not gonna have battle royale in matchmaking, but you're getting free for all in matchmaking First to 30 kills top three counts as a win. So yeah, and the battle pass is called treasure hunter We'll get to that later next thing. I want to know is there's two new reloads for two LMGs the MK 46 and the PKP I believe so if you have high level skins of those you'll get a new reload Next thing I'm showing off right now is the party lobby and the lobby redesign So you get your tag there because whenever you join a party uh, You'll see the other people in your lobby as well as their names and tags right above them like you see with my character here So that's honestly pretty cool something. I think people have been wanting so uh, the next thing I wanted to show off is kind of gonna be I feel in the air uh, in a sense controversial kind of um, We're gonna be talking about the level 100 weapon skins. That's right. They are finally coming out with the level 100 weapon skins That's freaking cool now I'm torn on this because I don't personally agree with the way that they're implementing it at the end of the day uh, Let me head over into the thing right now But basically uh, in order to get a level 100 skin you one have to get the weapon level to 100 as you can see with my QBZ Two, once it's at level 100 you have to buy it with 250 gold pieces as you see me doing in the background of the video I personally did not enjoy this uh, when they showed that to the official community members. Uh, I basically said, why can't, don't we switch it to like a challenges thing? I don't think that we should have to buy it. Uh, some other creators agreed, agreed. some other the members agreed. Uh, some others said that it's fine. It's a good price uh, for a good skin and for, you know, a good reward because it's a super sick skin it's gold and it's called nebula so pretty cool again i personally wanted them to maybe do a like a challenge like call of duty has right so let's say like a certain amount of kills with the weapon things like that um the developers did take that into account and after a few uh you know weeks of deciding they did end up deciding to keep uh, the reward as is to one not only actually get the reward out in time right so that to have this reward actually be in season 10 instead of pushing it back more and more so that's cool i think that's a good thing right because people have been asking for this for a while i think they should release it um and another they didn't find any suitable challenges that would i guess you know warrant the amount of rewards you get because you do get special reload for this level 100 skin as well as all the perks of those types of weapons which kind of are negated when you are at this weapon because it's just weapon xp so uh pretty cool pretty amazing skin sorry if the video's freezing don't know what happened there but pretty awesome i enjoyed the skin super cool super great uh i wish the way to get it was a little bit different but that's it let's head on over to the battle pass boys so the battle pass is called treasure hunter it's a pirate theme and it comes with the brand new m5i and the kukri melee weapon the m5i you can most likely know it from the battlefield 2042 it's the main assault rifle that's overpowered over there and yeah has a 30 round magazine if you look at the stats it's actually pretty competitive uh the range i kind of say it's a bit low that's kind of how they balance it because all the other stats are absolutely cracked um using it in the gun range pretty cool pretty awesome and we are going to go through the weapon skins as always so this is going to be a little bit off because again i have to re-record this uh so first thing you get is that hunter dog tag the precious gold m5 and the character male character for the pirates themes uh throughout the battle pass you are able to unlock the female character as well as the robot character pirate themes so that's pretty cool the treasure dog tag looks cool and look at that precious gold m5 absolutely so amazing so good so you do unlock the m5 at rank 4 of the battle pass for free you do not have to buy the battle pass to get it however it is just the base version and of course you do not get any types of um 
pay to win advantages on any of the skins uh, you do get just extra weapon xp so you can get to other attachments faster but yeah next we got the white gold k2c super 6 yen looks a little bit more marbly this time a lot more like textures than the other ones i like it it's k2c everybody knows it everybody loves it next you get the woman hunter shirt so woman pirate uh next we have the pirate spirits sg553 another sg pretty cool skin though not gonna lie and collection box with the kukri at level 15 i believe that is um next you get the damascus kukri is the next big thing and your first uh drone skin this time we have three drone skins your first one's gonna be that blade drone uh which looks pretty pretty all right you know i mean it's it's gonna be coming at your enemies they're gonna be intimidated pay to win right then and there the next skin that we have is going to be the striker drone so again just shoots at your enemies in style pretty cool and the hunter gloves for the female i believe uh the cool thing about the hunter gloves for the female is that they actually have one human hand one robot hand i'll go back to that in a second but yeah pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool stuff let's go on to the next one guys let's see Cool. so the next one we have is the relic P2 pdrc uh really cool skin i mean look at it it's a super cool skin i don't know who uses the pdr though i personally don't use it that much so yeah maybe it'll give me a reason to use it treasure hunter emblem honestly looks pretty cool not gonna lie i'll rock it then we got the robot chest pretty awesome and then you got this little um trinket uh, that i don't know man i i think it fit better with the world war ii theme but hey that's neither here nor there it's got the same color scheme as this one though so hey that's cool next you have this fear m5 that looks like the obsidian camo in modern warfare and yo this thing looks so freaking cool doesn't it like wow that's actually super sick it's just a nice black camo with some textures i like it i'll be rocking it you got the hunter hands uh the kraken mp5 what's better than a kraken mp5 though guys the next skin but look at that that's such a nice sick skin and it probably has a custom reload the next thing is the hunter pants and i think the hunter pants for robot so you got the woman one first and then the robot pants yep and then the next thing we have is the chiapo rhino getting a super sick skin the only thing that looks kind of like this is the kraken deagle and that one is you can buy it for like $60 US or you can try to get it off of like community boxes I think but yeah this is a super sick one I'm gonna be using this and the weapon a lot more because of this skin uh next thing as you see the robot head uh comes with only one side of his eye but he has three eyes so OP awesome anyway next thing is the skull um tomb m5i pretty cool i think the other two are a little better and then the skull banana which i believe is just for humans um doesn't say male or female so just for humans uh red skull laws everybody's favorite uh support streak so you know i'm gonna be rocking this 24 7 uh so yeah pretty great uh next is the baruck svd not sure how to pronounce that but super simple svd skin very pirate theme uh pretty cool i i don't use the svd too much but hey if you do pretty cool skin you got the title next which is robot versus human on a boat and the ghost ship ultimax which looks super sick and because it's an ultimax skin it has that reload kind of like the bulldog where you just kind of slap the drum mag down and then put a new one in flip it around pretty cool stuff pretty cool reload and it's free the next thing is the crossbow and the crossbow looks a little bit like um christmas doesn't it so yeah kind of a pirate christmas um collab right here right so yeah pretty great uh next thing we have is the treasure map blazer more love to the blazer because the blazer is amazing everybody loves it and yeah super simple skin very pirate theming uh this beanie for the man only not sure why you got the rococo kukri super cool uh definitely worth it right there and then you have your collection weapon um you're part of your collection weapon that is the Zulu PP2000 so pretty awesome uh, Zulu skin we only have one other and that's the tar PP2000 is pretty cool and the last skin is the revenge skull HK4416 and they give you an ACOG and a silencer to go with it uh, that's kind of cool uh, we might try that combo out before this battle pass comes out but this skin is super sick and it's a pretty good gun so I like that Next, I'm going to show you guys the collection weapon that we're getting this time around, and it's going to be the Overlap P90. Yeah, you get a basically not free Overlap skin, but a better chance at an Overlap skin uh, since, you know, everybody wants the DSR and the SCAR. Get a, pre get a P90 with a silencer. 
pretty awesome stuff guys and next i'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to some m5 gun range all right guys so m5 gun range let's give it a go we got the nebula camo let you guys see it off a little bit more and like i said this gun seems pretty cracked because look at those iron sights you're not gonna need a sight at all these are super clean super easy to see through and yeah take a look at the damage here so we got 31 damage uh, so it's a four shot kill to the body 46 to the head and if you mix one headshot uh with what body shot it's a three shot kill so definitely go for those headshots guys they actually do tons of damage uh this gun can get as low as four headshots only and five body shots so it's from 31 to 20 is the max minimum damage so yeah pretty cool um, I think it's going to be definitely a very competitive weapon in medium range. Uh, that being said, uh, I think it'll give the AUG and QBZ a pretty nice run for its money. Uh, I haven't tested it out in in-game yet, obviously, with just gun range, just trying to get a feel for it, feel for the recoil and things like that. But yeah, if it, uh, you know, performs pretty decent, you know, you just kind of have to pull, as you can see, uh, kind of down and to the right for this one and yeah that's super sick reload like i said with the nebula camo because it gets the reload of all the other skins for the weapon so yeah pretty cool you get a you get a custom reload for gp so i guess that's kind of a uh, worth it right but yeah guys let me know in the comment section what you think of the season pass update below do you agree with all the changes like the ctf and the level 100 weapon skin guys let me know again it's been kind of up in the air for the official members uh, half of them fully agree half of them don't on some of these but yeah let's hopefully uh agree that these changes can get towards a better game and help us you know make a better better game um but yeah guys i'll see you in the next one peace out